In an ocean of steroids, a handful of athletes are swimming against the tide. In Portland, Maine, begins a competition with unusual athletes, natural bodybuilders, rebels in a sport infected by steroids. These athletes reject steroids, both the benefits and the costs. And no one knows the costs better than their coach, former Mr. Universe and ex-steroid user, Steve Mahalik. Okay, guys, uh, this is what it's all about. All that hard work you put in the gym just amounts for a few minutes on stage. So just really enjoy yourself. From Watertown, Massachusetts, please welcome contestant number eight, Michael Manovian. The most formidable challenger here is unseen, temptation. Winning is intoxicating, and steroids are enticing, even to a man they'd nearly killed. I will have suffered through the stroke, the heart attack, the liver disorders, the mental disorders, the mental anguish. But what I personally do it again, yes, that's, listen to the drawer of that stuff. For one moment in time, Steve Mahalik was the best there was on planet Earth, number one. That's a hard thing to discount. At Mahalik's gym on Long Island, he trains a new generation of bodybuilders to do as he says, not as he did. These kids and these, these grown men need a leader. They need someone who's been there. They need someone who can take them to the place they want to go without getting sick or ill. Spare the pain, spare the shame. Let's go. So what I try to do when a guy's sincere, I will teach them how to exercise and to have a degree of muscle that their genetics will allow them to have and make them understand that that's as good as you're going to get. Ten more. Come on. I'm looking. I'm watching their muscles. They got a lot in them. There you go, baby. All right. It's very difficult for them to win in the arena of the steroid contest and bodybuilding. You can win clean in natural contests, and you can win clean up to certain levels in pro contests. Boy, from golfer to bodybuilder. Just so after that, you cannot. That's the truth. It's a harsh reality for athletes. For many, steroids can be priceless. The difference between a salary and a fortune. Between mediocrity and stardom. One of our patients was able to summarize it in just a single word, namely, why should I be Clark Kent when I can be Superman? If there was a drug available to allow a journalist to win the Pulitzer or allow me to win the Nobel Prize, I pretty well think they'd be injecting that drug on the steps of Old Main here at Penn State. Other experts place blame elsewhere. I think the people to blame are us, the consumers of sport. We want to see numbers. We want to see performances. We want to see more home runs. We want to see faster 100-meter dashes. The fact of the matter is, you want our athletes using steroids. And as the debate continues, and science looks for the answers, one ominous fact remains. Steroid use is spreading. And they may not be going away anytime soon.